EU corruption charges very very worrisome, says foreign policy chief. Like the video and subscribe. We will continue to bring you hot news every day. Arrests over alleged corruption at the European Parliament are very, very worrisome, the EU's foreign policy chief Jos Borrell has said. An Irish Foreign Affairs Minister Simon Colbany said the charges against four people were very damaging. Among the arrested was European Parliament Vice President Eva Cayley, believed to be one of those charged. Prosecutors suspect the Gulf state, reportedly Qatar, trying to influence Parliament by donating money or gifts. Qatar has denied misconduct. Belgian police seized cash worth about €600,000, dollars £515,000, and 16 searches in Brussels on Friday. Computers and mobile phones were also taken, to examine their contents. Four people have been charged while two have been released, prosecutors said on Sunday. No suspects have been publicly named but Abs Kaley is understood to be among those who have been indicted. They are charged with participation in a criminal organization, money laundering and corruption, the Belgian Federal Prosecutor's Office said in a statement. Jaws on the floor. Analysis by Jessica Parker, Brussels correspondent. The details released by Belgian authorities in the last few days left many people's jaws on the floor. Two MEPS homes have been searched and 600,000 euros seized. The Federal Prosecutor's Office didn't miss their words in terms of the allegations either. MEPS I've spoken to say they're shocked by both the scale and blatancy of the accusations, albeit not by the suggestion a foreign power might try to influence EU policy, or seek to improve their country's reputation through public debates. Qatar has rejected any reports of misconduct, but this story is set to dominate proceedings as MEPS head to Strasbourg for one of their regular plenary sessions. M. Scaly, and MEP for eight years, was suspended from her duties as one of 14 vice presidents by President of the European Parliament Roberta Metsola. She has also been suspended from the Parliament's Socialists and Democrats group, and expelled from the Greek center left Pazak party. Prosecutors in Greece have reportedly frozen all of M. Scaly's assets. Watchdogs and opposition MEPs said the bribery investigation could represent one of the biggest corruption scandals in European Parliament history. Certainly the news is very, very worrisome, Mr. Borrell told reporters on Monday as he arrived at a meeting of EU foreign ministers. We are facing some events, some facts, that certainly worries me as a former president of the European Parliament. Mr. Borrell said the investigation did not target anyone from the EU's diplomatic service. Also speaking before Monday's meeting, Mr. Carbony said the allegations were very damaging, adding that we need to get to the bottom of it. Meanwhile Terry Rienk, who co-chairs the Green Bloc in Parliament, has called for M. Scaly's immediate resignation. We shouldn't even have to remove her from her vice president position, the German MEP said. This should be done by her proactively. Prosecutors said they suspected a Gulf state had been influencing economic and political decisions of the parliament for several months, especially by targeting aides. Local media has named the state as Qatar, though the Qatari government said any claims of misconduct were gravely misinformed. M. Scaly's responsibilities as vice president include the Middle East. She has been a defender of Qatar in the past. M. Metzola flew from her native Malta to Brussels on Saturday evening to witness the searching of an MEPS house, as is required by the Belgian constitution. Her spokesman said the European Parliament stands firmly against corruption and is fully cooperating with investigators. The European Parliament is the EU's only directly elected institution. Some 705 members of Parliament, elected by voters in the 27 nations which make up the EU, meet to scrutinize proposed legislation and vote through European law. We hope the video was useful to you. Like the video and subscribe. We will continue to bring you hot news every day.